I'm sorry guys I went and touched a button here and the thing just went off so Tell you the button is not working. Uh, some some people want to call, but I cannot call. It's finished. like it's not finished. I, I yeah. came on again. Wait, let me see. Allow your viewers to request to join you as a guest in your broadcast. Yeah. So, where is Mr. Santos? Please, Mr. Santos, if you can come back. No, I, You know this is iPhone Terry. Okay, Doctor Santos is on now. It's on. Sir, can you just request me again? I want my son. <laughs> Terry, come now. It's I want. I want to call. See, I want to call him. It's not working. I don't know why. Okay, I'm adding now. Doc, I've added you. I think, I think there is a problem. Because I just, okay, let me add again. Hi, Doc. <laughs> Hi. How's everything? Everything is fine, Doc. And you? You see me You see me in my Ngambe platform. I'm seeing you in your Ngambe platform. Oh, I miss this Ngambe platform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just watching your program, and it's very educative. Oh, Doc, I, I thank you very much. I thought it was somebody told me to do it because I have that gift. I've, been, I've connected so many people, they are married, so somebody just told me that, why can't you not just do it in Facebook? There are so many people dying there with depression. They don't know how to go about to get a, a partner. I just, I've been postponing it, postponing it until my mom here in the house told me that, go forward today and do it. And I'm so surprised, so many people, they came to listen, and they are so, people are writing some encouraging comments here. And I really like it. So, Doc, the same old talking about Fiji. <laughs> yeah. Um, at least the program be very nice. Mm -hmm. I like them mm -hmm. because uh, there's a lot going on in our society, in our communities. Yes. And uh, not only uh, within the, the, not only within please the Amazonian. Share, please share as you get in. Please share as you get because. There is great knowledge that we are going to learn today from you. Yeah, I might also share for them. Yeah. Share on my wall. Share, please. We so have people great people job. here who are about to educate us on what to do, what is happening in the world today. My share, too, for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing we did, I say, um, I like the topic, more especially because I also deal with families as a psychologist. Yeah. I deal with family and marriage therapy. I also deal with um, mental health. I deal with immigration, yeah, counseling, and all has to do with depression, trauma, mm. torture, violence, and all those. Yeah, uh, stress victim victims of uh, abuse spouses of American citizens. Yeah, be it male or female. Wow. Uh, child abuse, substance mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. and a vast a vast area of my, my practice has to cover all those areas. So from day to day, uh, day in, day out, I have one or two phone calls in all these areas. Yeah. So um, uh, one of the greatest issues in our communities is divorce. Yes. Divorce and divorce, um, divorce not only within our African uh, communities, 
but our Cameroonian communities also, in particular, and Amazonian Affected. community. Mm -hmm. And all this um, has to do with um, uh, uh, and some sort of changes and adaptation, uh, cultural predispositions, like uh, the moving, like most of the people who migrate with marriage, marriages that do migrate from Africa yeah. into, into the Western world. Yeah. There is a likelihood that about 80% 80, 80 of them do not survive the first five years. Yes, it's true. 80%. It's true. And uh, only 20% may be hanging there. Uh, why? Because of uh, uh, growth, mm -hmm. growth acculturation. They're trying to the conflict between the Western culture and the and the African traditional system. Yeah. For example, what we perceive over there to be the role of the man and the woman seems to suffer some sort of a role reversal. Yeah. Which 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 leads to a catharsis. You know, a conflict mm -hmm. when 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 these people do arrive over here. For example, you you know that um, the way this society is structured, the Western world is structured, especially in the United States of America, for example. You see that one uh, men men who get good jobs spend a lot of years in school. Yes, it's true. Uh, of which women somehow are able to fit in the system faster and have shortcuts to some jobs which the men may not like. And so the women are able to perform those jobs and may, be, may over time become more wealthier than you who have spent a lot of time in school trying to catch up. And you may fall back in some of your commitments and we know in our society that the head of the household is the man and the provider now, because of that financial power, the woman automatically becomes the head of the household. Yes, it's true. That suffers, that, that, most homes have suffered that problem. And in, in those kind of problems, some of our ladies too, uh, they, you know, money is power. Yeah. Money is power. For example, if you see, for example, a young lady who was not able to articulate so well or had that social uh, capability of expression, in the in crowds with, with with the availability of money a lot of things can take place and she becomes very vocal and can uh, can can air out uh emotions and feelings in a way that you know may make the man to be inferior mm -hmm. or the man may suffer a complex and that leads to a lot of disagreements in most of the cases that i've handled whereby the women were previously not able to be financially stable yeah now they become financially stable <laughs> in a position of strength more than the man and then they are, that household suffers that rule reversal yeah and as a result the man automatically feels inferior yeah and it leads it leads to cut it leads to a lot of power struggle and other things in the home that uh i mean just say leads to break in the homes yeah and then the second thing is um, uh, there are some bad habits, yeah. social, so envir environmental changes, because often in psychology, we used to ask the question whether, is it the society that changes the human being or the human being that changes the society? You know, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably more of the environment, because if you go to Rome, you like to behave as the Romans do. <laughs> so when, when we come with all these good cultures we have inherited from our parents and our communities, our grandmothers, on what the context of marriage used to be in our own communities, where the husband comes back from work, the food is on the table. Yeah. Uh, all this, and some people just don't just want to you know, strike a good balance between those, our old values, yeah. and the present yeah. values of where we are. Yeah. For example, it becomes now an issue of both of you collaborating together to make things work. If the other party is at work and the children come back from school and they are hungry, I mean, it's no problem for you, the man, to go to the kitchen and make food. Yes, because your wife is over there working money for the household. So just fill in the gap of whatever is lacking in the house and let's move on other than you <laughs> thinking that 
this particular duty is assigned to this particular person who must be doing it consistently <laughs> all the time. Yeah. If your wife is somewhere working and you feel that the plates are dirty and the house is dirty, you get up and clean everything and clean the trash yeah. and get some food ready. Yeah. So a lot of these things, lead, these are the small, small, tiny things that make some people to suffer fatigue and depress in the relationship because one party is just not getting it. Is it true? Not getting it at all mm. or stuck in the previous in the previous African context or talk stuck in the previous cultural context that they don't want to put things together, you know? And, um, and then another thing that has to happen, another serious problem that I face, which has led to a lot of these separations or a lot of this problem, because you are talking about looking for pairing up people. Yeah. We have to look at the things that will make these people to stay, together. To stay for And by identifying the problems, mm. which often leads to problems that leads to the divorce before they are looking now for second because most of the people believe me who are coming now here to look for partners are definitely looking for mr right or mrs wrong yeah. mr right mr right don't miss wrong because and they must have been hurt somewhere they must have been hurt somewhere they must have been in first in previous relationships that they are trying to look now for somewhere which is more comfortable but if you keep on looking for somewhere without adjusting your behaviors or your habits, your past habits and behaviors, or those cultural aspects that were impediments to your previous to your previous marriages, then you are not doing you are not doing any good to yourself. No, no, no. So, no. before we connect somebody to someone, we should be able to know that person's baggage. That's true. We call it baggage. What baggage are you bringing on? Mm -hmm. I'm married with four, for example, somebody that I'm 18, I'm 18 years in marriage with four children. My first is 15, second is 14, third is uh, 10, getting 13, and then the uh, last one is getting 10. Mm. What are your baggages? If you are moving into a new, something new, what are your baggages? Maybe you have some four or five or six children scattered here and there uh, with different women. Mm. Maybe you are a woman that has been married like twice. You have children somewhere. You have ongoing conflicts. You have a divorce procedure in process. You have people fell out because of this and that. Be honest and sincere and tell that person you want to reconnect with where exactly in this present situation you are. Yes. Truth. Yes. Truth. Because it's very, don't, very get your dirty baggage. don't get your dirty baggage into somebody's house with clean baggage. Yeah. You have to put that baggage down and weigh the baggages and see whether it's something you can carry. Mm -hmm. Then also culture. You have to know the culture that you have to draw a line between some certain things. For example, financial management. Yeah. Great problem. A great source of givers. Financial management. Mm -hmm. Joint account, separate account, salary earnings, contribution with regards to bills, bills mm -hmm. payment. Yeah. <laughs> because somebody will be building a story building or skyscraper home where there will be a woman here working. And any, or, 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 I've seen some friends whose wives have actually bought plots and built houses in Africa without the husband in America knowing. Yes. It's very, very The poor guy is here paying all the bills. The poor yes. guy is here paying all the bills only to arrive in Africa when they said that's your wife's house. That, that mistrust sets in. Mistrust okay. sets in. Yeah. When you're doing something like trying to do an, an investment or a business venture, if, it's, if, if we are married and it's for all of us, you better be open because the day I discover you are doing that without me knowing or I go through some papers in the house and I discover that you have some savings of $50,000 in a bank account somewhere abroad when I've just been paying all the bills without knowing, that is terrible. That's horrible. It's a catastrophe. I've got yeah. friends who, who, who discovered in their wife's um, bank statement that they just won an insurance claim for about $50,000 when the husband never knew about any accident. Hmm. <clears throat> some of the things, I'm, I'm quoting you, I don't call names, but I'm quoting some of the cases that I've been handling. Yeah. And uh, I've also seen cases whereby uh, if it comes to cheating, cheating is something which is um, most of the cases have to do with that because cheating is always number one on the table. Mm. Then other side issues accompany the cheating, cheating on either side, mm -hmm. man or woman. Yeah, I don't 
I don't favor any side. I just say that's what is going on mm -hmm. in most of these cities. So when we, um, we have, this is a good program connecting people mm -hmm. to connect to others yeah. who, are in, who are in desperate need of, of partnership, yeah. life partnership. Yeah. So we have to be honest and sincere. We have to know who is bringing what baggage yeah. and what are the baggages. So you as the mediator or the hookup link, the hookup person, has to know because the request for their bow and what have you not only what they're not only interested about what you are working, uh, what level of education you got, uh, what's your size of this, 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 and that, what's mm -hmm. what do you are your likes and dislikes. We have to know also what baggage you bring in. Yeah. What are your, your compartment? You have you had some problems with uh, your community? Have you had problems with the police in your previous relationship? Thank what you did your me. previous partners accuse with accused you about? Just do an evaluation of the yeah. situation. For me, I always do that. And if I have to do it as a psychologist, I always do up to, I do a comprehensive evaluation of the situation for, for a marital purpose evaluation. Yeah. I will do up to medical screening, history of mental health issues in the families because it determines the type of children you people will produce. Yeah, There can be genetic, genetic predisposition. There can be genetic, genetic predisposition of certain illnesses that have affected the intelligence and whatsoever. There are some illnesses that run in the family line. There, yeah. There's a predisposition for, for, for people who deliver children who are uh, developmentally delayed and suffer from certain illnesses that are common within the bloodline. Mm -hmm. uh, the IQ score, the IQ score in certain families may be lower, some may mm -hmm. be higher. You like to pair a high IQ with a high IQ to produce the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we have to go into all those things. We think we, 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 we conduct. Mm. Yeah, we conduct about that. We conduct about family history, growth history, performance in school, educational history, job history, yeah. uh, and all those things. We have to study all of them. And then we have to identify. We can even add it all up to the blood type. You need to know your blood type. Yeah, very important. I'm hot-blooded. I'm hot-blooded. So I know my blood type. <laughs> so it's it's very difficult for me to 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 go with somebody who is also like my blood type. Yeah, that is why for, for success. That is why. Sorry to cut you short, Doc. That is why this platform is very very important because you know most of our brothers and sisters they go home to marry. Maybe they know somebody only for two weeks. They don't have time. You are only home for two weeks, and you know that person only for two weeks. You keep on asking the family or asking friends, "How is this person?" But here, if you can know somebody and you're asking that person, maybe you connect to the friends of that person before you go to marry that person. At least most of all these things, they have been sorted out. This is what they do in the Western world. Yeah. In the Western world, there's no marriage without premarital counseling. Yeah. The parents have to be, Thank maybe you, if, you sign, have to, if, you have, if you have to sign for, you can sign for uh, 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 family therapy or you can sign for a relationship therapy with, of just two persons or individual or family. Yeah. In this sense, if your husband or wife is considered a family, you can bring extended families depending on the informed consent and confidentiality and privacy purposes. HIPAA. You can invite other members to come on board for you people to see whether this thing will work or it will not work before, before there is any, any publication of bans or any publication of anything, you must talk with people like us. Yes, you must, very well. Oh, you I'm must, so privileged. Because, I'm so happy. Because when we just get somebody on the street, and tomorrow we are putting on flyers and say married next next this December, without having you done even a medical exams, both of you have not done medical exams. Yeah. Both of you have not studied the family dynamics of what happened. You don't know how many children that person has before the situation of the earlier marriage. You don't know about the, the, the illnesses that exist within the family line. Yeah. Uh, if you people, the blood type, then for you people to start to have children, you discover that there's, there's a history of barrenness in that family, sterility. Mm -hmm. It's a sterility syndrome that runs across the family. And one person then, you start having difficulties in having children, you start asking yourself why. Mm -hmm. When it's something that is genetically predisposed, or you deliver children who are having developmental delays and are autistic people, then you start saying, oh, this starts accusing another, another accusing another. 
You have to check into your history and know. That's why premarital counseling is very important before we hook these people together. One of my prophet, one of my professors or my my doctoral internship supervisor, Dr. Marie von Rhodes. Dr. Marie von Rhodes is from Haiti. She works at the Multicultural and Counseling Center in Bellsville, Maryland. She told me that the things we African fail to take of importance are the things that become our greatest challenges in marriage. I yeah. asked her, what do you mean? She told me that because we fail to do premarital counseling, we now become an experiment, an experiment in it while in marriage. <laughs> The things that we would have sorted out before we got in, yeah. we are now victims of which are in, which means we are an experiment in it already. Yes. So, when we will be doing this, when you get these couples, maybe you will need my services. You call me. I will need we'll your sit services, down together. Doc. We'll sit down together and do an intake for them. Yes. And then we we'll do an eval a premarital counseling evaluation. And I will learn also. Then I will come out with a report. I'll come out with yeah. a report. It's like twelve pages. It's like twelve pages report. Yeah. I come out with a report of the guy, and I come out with a report of the girl. Yes. Yeah. And then the, the both of them can share their reports and see. It's like report card, and see if this is a report card I can manage. <laughs> Some people will leave crying, you. Huh? <laughs> Some people. Will <laughs> Some people will leave crying. Yeah. And uh, there is something, there is a point, you know, there are so many dating sites right over there in the internet. So many of our brothers and sisters, so many of our sisters, let me say sisters, they have been killed because you you would they are they are ghost profiles here in the in, in Facebook. You don't know who you're talking to. So this medium is a very good medium because you will know the person you're talking with. Before you're Correct. going to meet that person, you have counsel of people like you that already know what is happening. Before even you're going to meet this person, you know this is a true person, it's not a ghost. Mm -hmm. So many women here have been killed, especially in Europe, because they have gone to dating sites, they will date somebody, and immediately that person invites you to his house, you go there, mm -hmm. kills you. They never see you again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me come to also one thing. There's also a program that I saw the other day. Somebody asked a question on a certain site on Facebook. I looked at it. I laughed. I was. It was. It came to do with uh, HIV. Yeah. HIV positive uh, uh, people. Uh, zero zero positive people. Yeah. Okay. So applies also with people with terminal diseases like cancer and others. Yeah. Um, you, you know, HIV people have dating sites for themselves. Ah. Oh. Yes. We want oh. to be honest. The Western world has developed it. There's a database. You can go to Google and look at it. You will see it. I have, I've been working with counseling some of them on terminal diseases and stuff. Uh, people were at the verge of even passing. So uh, what happened is most of them, they, they, are, they are free to get into relationships, but they only get into relationships only between themselves because they don't want to spread, you know? Yeah. So... There is there's an online dating site only for that dating site only for that. So in in time to come, you will look at also our community, which suffers a great deal in that area. Mm -hmm. if we have some of them who are ready to own up and say, okay, I am this. I want a partner of this description, which is this. There are somebody say HIV is not terminal. I'm talking of cancer is terminal. HIV is not terminal. Mm -hmm. Somebody was somebody was thinking I was saying HIV is terminal. HIV is not terminal. I talk of terminal diseases like cancer. Yeah. Okay. Some of these people have their own dating sites and we we'll always encourage them to have their own to come yeah. out in the open through counselors. Yeah. And get their own people who can also be of their own type, you know? Mm -hmm. So um with time to come, we have to pair a lot of things. Pair people who are not and people who are. I mean, that would be a good forum also because the Western world has it. Our yeah. African community, because of the stigma, because of the stigma yeah. that comes along with it, they are, not, they are not able to come out and they are not able to let alone even follow treatment and they die in denial. Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. Because 
some of them tend to live a very lonely life, which is very detrimental to them because they lack some avenues to have people who can connect them. Yeah. To connect them because when, when, when you live alone with something, you think you have it alone. The time you start integrating in the conferences of people who have cancer, people who have HIV, people who have other diseases, even mental health, when you start integrating in larger assemblies, that being present in the midst of other people who have the same fit like you is in, is in itself a therapy. It's true. It's in itself a therapy. Yes. Mbutuku so um, what is going to happen is that uh, somebody, Mbutuku Claude is saying, please let him know. Let know this. You can sex an HIV woman and you won't contract it because the medication now repeals a carrier from transmitting. Well, um, it's not a 100% surety. It's something that uh, some medications have been tailored towards that, but the point is that is this, this disease, there is still ongoing research in many areas in this disease in a way that we cannot really uh, be 100% sure of it. That's why we say it has a treatment, but it doesn't have cure yet. Yeah. So the point is, I, I, would like to avoid, I would like to avoid counseling people to take chances. Yeah, not everything we read online is true. In the medical field, we have uh, we we are, we are supposed to go by uh, uh, authentic sources, not sources like online uh, Wikipedia and all those. We want to go by intellectual, clinical, uh, researched, well-researched sources. Because if we, we we are talking, we should be talking about a research that has been conducted on this particular area where it was proven that this medication is successful in this, but. There's always also what we call a margin of error. There's still a margin of error. A medication it's, may it's work for that. you, but it will I not work for me. I know that when you are at the stage of AIDS, at, I don't think that one even it will help because your retroviral load is so high and it might happen that you can, mm -hmm. you can contract that disease. So, Claude, we were mm -hmm. just talking that, we were just saying that in case you are being paired up in this group, in this uh, media, you have to go and you have to go and and, and do an HIV do an HIV test for your partner to know. It's part of the evaluation. You have to do an evaluation, a comprehensive evaluation, which is sure. part also. The medical screening is part of it. Yeah, it is you to decide if you want to. Yeah, go we want to be. We want this person to be. To be it's not our problem. If you decide yeah. to stay with a person that yes. is HIV positive, it's okay. It's a human being. So it depends yeah. on you, but at least let the two people know that this person is HIV free and the other one is HIV free or HIV positive. Then you decide Correct. if you want to go with that person. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Be because we won't we wouldn't be doing a great service to ourselves if we come up here as professionals and we are talking in a forum like this. Or we have pastors, we have psychologists, we have other people of other professions, nurses. We we won't be doing a good service to our population if we come here with all these professionals and we hook up bad seats. Or yeah. hook up somebody who contaminates another. That's gonna be very bad for our image. So yeah. we want to be very sure that the both of you, you know, we are rendering a free service. It's a free yeah. service. It's a free service. So we, so we want to do it right. We want to do yeah. it right. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we are doing the evaluation, the premarital counseling and evaluation plus intake, we are going to have the people or the candidates down who their choice, their partners are that they have opted for. They come, we compare the partners, they choose theirs. We look at them and then we look at screening. Yeah, we do an evaluation of all of them. Then we present their report cards. Yeah, to one another. <laughs> I like that. So that you see, you look at the report card, you say, If this is a report card that <laughs> if this is a report card I can carry, <laughs> so, so there will be a lot of work, there will yeah. be a lot of work to do. <laughs> But first of all, mm -hmm. Doc, I'm so I'm so privileged to have you. I have the pastor, Pastor George Osobo, and then I had Mama here in the house, also with the advice that people. At least we have learned a lot today. I didn't even expect so many people to be here today, and it's really working. So, Doc, I hope you already help me. Oh, Nami, are you gonna do this thing with too? I beg. We will help our brothers and our Amazonian brothers and sisters. But any other country is welcome. You are privileged. Yeah, if any other country is welcome. We should not limit it. Yeah. We are out to help the people. Yeah. We are out to help them. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, um, these are some of the rare kind of areas that's, that people have not touched on yeah. social media. Yeah. I, I've seen um, some Senegalese or Ivorians trying to do it in France. Yeah. They, are, they have hookup hook up sites. Yeah. And uh, for me, it's not just hookup. Let's not just hookup. Anybody can do hookup. Anybody yeah. can be mediator. But the issue is, are you doing it right? Yeah. Because yeah. let's not hook up people tomorrow and then there's a disaster. Yeah. That's because what I was saying that. It. That's what I was saying that I cannot hook you privately. It is you to come online as we are talking like this. You come online. Someone might be watching at you. Maybe that person that will say, oh, I like this person. I like this person. Then you just screenshot. My WhatsApp number is there. Or I, I will always give you your, if you like also, you will join me and then we do it together. And then with the WhatsApp, if you say you like this person, then we will try to see how we can get in touch with that person. And then this evaluation now will come in. Before you know, okay. when people are knowing okay. yourself, then we'll be able now to help in this evaluation. And Got I think you. Got it you. will really work well. Got you. It means it means that anybody who comes here just to talk or to exchange this, let people be watching and see if you can uh, at first sight admire that person. Yeah. You play, you take a look, take a you take a, a photograph and send to you. Mm -hmm. Then from there, uh, you have other ones and uh, you you start connecting them. Then from there, we can go ahead to do all the screening. But let them not screenshot me. Oh. I'm married for 18 years. So yes, don't screenshot me. Married. <laughs> Dog is married, don't screenshot dog. And then if you write me, like some of the people, they have been writing me in WhatsApp that they are shy, they don't want to come forward. But now how am I going to pair these people? Except somebody writes me also, and then I put Okay, let them, let, them, let them take a picture of themselves and yeah. inbox to you. Yes. Yes, let them take a picture of themselves. Let them screenshot themselves on WhatsApp and send to you. Yeah. And then let them indicate to you whoever they see that comes on the program that yeah. they want. Mm -hmm. So someone yeah. might be watching now, and if you if you see somebody in the program, people are also writing. Maybe you feel this person. Maybe, I think also they'll be looking on people's profile. If you feel maybe you're comfortable with this person, then screenshot it, and then tell us who you are, and then we'll know what to do. But normally, I will... Yeah, even, even on, the, on, the, on the followers who are not bold enough to talk, those who are following up the, 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 the statements underneath this platform, yeah. those mm. who are typing underneath, and their line of argument and thought processes may all go well with some others, which means yeah. I can fall in love with somebody's ideas without seeing yes. the face. Yeah. So that, that, that being, you can, you can also screenshot the person and say, I got this person on this program, and yeah. I have the profile here as this. Take yeah. this one and see whether you can pair with me. Yes. And we will do mm. it. Liz, uh, Yaya is saying that he will screenshot you, Doc. <laughs> I, I know Yaya cannot be a second wife. If Yaya, is the second, if Yaya becomes a second wife, I'm dead, because they would, both of them would join and kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, who is that? Is that Yaya for Is that Yaya for Is that Yaya for here? No, Liz Yaya. He's in Belgium. She's in Belgium. Oh, Liz, Liz Yaya. Oh, yeah. yeah. My my regards to her. Yeah. <laughs> she's watching. Don't screenshot me, please. She's watching. Tell her not to. Tell her not to screenshot me. Yeah. <laughs> Yaya, you here? Don't say me not screenshot here. Don't get a woman, no. If you Yaya to marry. Yeah, game, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. They are jokes. They are jokes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. So, what the next story? I go the coming time, my time for see how we the for yes, so I did I did now for Virginia. I will go back by weekend. I will go back for Germany by weekend. So when I go, I did on vacation. You did around? You did Virginia? Eh? Just Virginia. call me. Just call me. I did I did Baltimore. Eh, for Canada, Maryland. Yes. Wow. Where in, where in Virginia? What city in Virginia? I'm in uh, Woodbridge. Anyway, I'll inbox you. We'll talk, we'll talk behind the scene. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk behind the scene. Okay. Anyway, ma, ma, if you meet some other people, then come up. I will still get plenty of other things for talk, but I'll not digest all today. We'll still get plenty, dog. I'm going to do it for weekends because when I go now, so I'll start work and I will be very busy. Oh, except on Fridays in the evening when I come back for work, we're not going to start today. Are they free? Yeah. Yeah, then we'll mm. talk. We'll talk when we get to go online, at least for help our brothers and sisters. 
Okay. Thank you okay. very much, Thank Doc. You. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. And I hope, say, God, our pastor, Biron, can bless this show. And I know, say, this show, God will glorify us. In short, God will help us to achieve what we have said. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Viewers, let me leave you people. I'm so grateful. Yeah. At least we don't. We have started with something good. Mm -hmm. It's not only about politics. I know people have been seeing me a lot on politics and uh, mental health. Yeah. At least counseling also. This is part of counseling. Yeah. Marriage, family counseling. Yeah. Let's do that and let's make it work together. It's for the good of our community, the good yeah. of our people. We are here for humanity and we are here to sacrifice to make things better. And if anyone is coming here for this purpose, this good purpose that our sister has launched. Yeah. Let that person be coming with all truthfulness and honesty. Let the person not be shy. Let's throw away all those shy stigma. Yeah. Come out of your true self and tell exactly what your problems are. We are here to help. We are not yeah. asking any fee. Yeah. We are not asking any fee for our services. I'm not going to be... An evaluation, a psychological evaluation is like $1,500, $1,500 for the 12 yeah. pages. Mm -hmm. But I'll offer that to do it for free. Oh my God. Group. Thank you very much, sir. So, um, please, guys are ready to come and do it. I do it for immigration. I do it for criminal cases. I do it for mental health. Uh, I do it for uh, 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 victims of domestic abuse and violence. I do it for substance abuse and other things that qualifies for state and for the courts. So, and also for a drug prescription by Medicaid and other things. So um, feel free, guys, to give me a call. If they have problems in those areas, I'm out to help my community. It's not only Ambazonia politics so yeah. that we talk about. We talk I'll about other go, things. Say, about. <laughs> some people, they don't write me their, their problems, so I will give you work. <laughs> start give me. Start yeah. give me. My, give my, my write my number under yourself so that someone if you call me if they get any yes. problems. Right, and Doc. I will always, I will always there for help them. Yeah. And my people. Thank you very much. And my people, Thank you very I always much. stay out to help my community because Guys, I you see how we are struggle. blessed. We are blessed. They struggle with it. They struggle with ready to help free of charge. So you have your problems, just get to. They struggle with. They struggle with a lot of issues. Yeah. All the members of this group. All the members of this group. Yes, all the members of this group. So don't call. If you are calling, group. if you are calling, you don't make sure this group you will pay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you call private. <laughs> If you, are not out, if you are not from this group, you are going to pay, please. Invite your yes. friends and tell your friends that there is something which is very, yes. very good for our, for our growth and everything. So we are there to help. So Okay, somebody is asking you ask that they should ask me cancer and HIV, which, which can you live with and manage? Obviously, the answer is clear. HIV is best. If you put HIV and cancer, I will select HIV 100%. Yes. Because HIV, you can cancer is uh, you live long more than even people who are not healthy. Yes. Yeah. If you are on your medication with HIV, you can clock 30 plus years with your medication. Yeah. But if you are with cancer, we don't know. It can some are treatable, some are untreatable. The medication doesn't work for everyone. Mm -hmm. The chemotherapy is not the best with everyone. Mm -hmm. And um, and the cancer also is there are different categories of cancer. Cancer in various dimensions and shape. Only a cancer doctor, a specialist in that, can educate you more about that. Yeah. For me, I deal with um, the behavioral aspects of the illness and the medication. That's what I deal with. Yeah. The behavior, changes in behavior. Yeah, right. How how those medications and those illnesses affect your psychological, social, intellectual, occupational, environmental, and even hygiene yeah. functioning mm -hmm. areas of function. That's my role as a psychologist. Yeah. I look at all those how that how that illness or that problem or that medication you're taking, how does it affect your behavior and your your performance yeah. in society? In society. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, I, I end there. And if if it's going to if it's going to lead to maladaptiveness or maladaptations, which means you are not adapting properly. You are not functioning because of that particular problem. Yeah. And then I will now set up a behavioral plan, a behavioral plan, a treatment plan, a therapeutic plan, a psychopharmacological plan, clinically, clinically and psychopharmacologically, yeah. like 
recommending psychotropic medications, psychotropic medications and, and uh, antidepressants, or anything to do with um, acute acute mental illness like schizophrenia, bipolar, and all those. We have to put them work on a medication regimen as well. I work that hand in hand with the psychiatrist because I'm a clinical psychologist too. So I I know the, the side effects of the medications and I can do some prescriptions as well. Are they herbal so, medicines? Anyway. Mbutuku. Huh? Uh, Mbutuku is asking a question here. Are they herbal medicines? Yes, of course, please. My battery is running down. Okay. Oh. If you have any if you have any orphan back home who needs help, contact me. So our mom is saying that if anybody has any orphan back home who needs help, contact her. So here we are excelling in this program. Oh. My God, I'm so happy. I think everybody enjoyed the program. We have been here long. So if I have time tomorrow, I might still come tomorrow. But I'm disappointed that nobody called. But anyway, I have my... I have my WhatsApp here full with messages. I'm going to go over it and then I will reply each and every one. I'm on vacation, so I have time now. I'm going to reply each and every one that has written me on WhatsApp. So, thank you guys that we all enjoyed this program, contributed in this program, and I wish everyone should go this evening and think if you know you're single. And you need to be paired up. Tomorrow, it's another day. Or if I don't come, I will write. I will send in a message before I come. If I'm, if I'm chance tomorrow, I'm going to come in in the evening. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> Mbutuku, you're welcome. Oh, my sister Emma, you're coming very late. I'm about to leave. You're always in the USA. Do you want to leave Germany? Mbutuku, <laughs> I don't want to leave Germany. I like visiting the U.S., but I like living in Germany. I, you let her, oh, Emma. I need a husband. Ah, I'm close. You are, uh, you are a man or you are a woman? Are you a man or a woman? Because I'm, 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 me, I don't pair up uh, lesbians or, or homosexuals. No, 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 no. That one in my doctrine, I'm not allowed. I can't do that. Maybe uh, there is one of our sister who is a lesbian, Kiki Bandi. I think maybe he's having a, a hookup, a, a match-up program with, with those groups. So in here, here I cannot do that, please. Lucky you, bye. Great job. A girl, 34 years. Okay, you need a girl. Okay, you need a girl, 34 years old. Please, make sure you request me and I put you on video. You have to do a follow-up tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, mom is requesting that I come in for a follow-up tomorrow. I will, make I will make sure I squeeze my time because I, I wanted to go somewhere else tomorrow. I'm going to squeeze my time and then I will come in and then we'll continue with our program. But um, I want you guys, please, remove shyness. Mbutuku no. Club, I want to make you come. You say you are a girl. I want to see you. I want to see that fine girl. That fine but to go get I bet come over. Maybe one girl they will go like you. Come. Request me my call you Mbutuko. <laughs> Lord, you don't see my match. <laughs> Emma, don't worry. You you want come Emma, you want to come live? I the vex her, I do meet her. I be, uh, Emma, you want to come live? Ma add you. Who? Not joking. Um, Butuku. Yes. Butuku. I mean, you are not serious, so you're not serious. You're not serious. Come here live. Can't tell us about HIV. You say that you are filled with the sodium. Can't tell us about that HIV. Why here? Okay. I'm so impressed about the turnout today. So I think tomorrow it will be much. And we're happy to have Dr. Santos, 
Dr. Santos talked to us about depression. He shared to us what happens in a relationship, how we can evaluate the relationship before people get married. And then we had our brother, Reverend Pastor Asobo George, who came also and he also educated us on marriage, principles of marriage, gave examples. So I would like people also who are in some fields of psychology, marital counseling, all those things to come over. Emma, I know you're one of them. You are in counseling and you, I think you can come and then sh give us some knowledge and wisdom. So anybody that wants no, eh, Butuko, I no, 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 I, I beg, no, cause my doko. I don't like that kind of word. I want me everybody get respect for you. I don't want me person, cause person for you. No be amber, no be uh, uh, content, no be uh, contender force, and then IG and federalists. Here, we are here to socialize. We are here to see how we can help each other. Let everybody be happy in life. So, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're, Thank you so much. So, Emma, I don't stay at dinner like one hour or more than one hour. I think two hours. So, we'll be get our dog. We'll be get our dog. We talk about. We talk about evaluating relationship and all those things, and then we we'll get faster. We can't to can talk. It bless us here. It said made this platform maybe a good platform. So, wait, wait, uh, as you just can now, I want and I say a run of battle, we shall be again on weekend. Okay. Thank you very much, Doc. We are waiting. So, Emma, the thing I say, I want and say, if you define man, or person way, woman way define, okay, woman way define man, a man way define woman. You go call in here for video, may they see you because how do you hook up somebody? If you write me now, say you want this man. Maybe I don't get that man. I don't get that age. I don't get that thing. That maybe the, you you want man when a doctor. You want man when a lawyer. I don't get me man when a lawyer. I don't get me one man when a doctor. But people might be watching here where they get that kind of profession. And maybe some person if you don't look you now the way where they talk. He look na your face. He look na your nose. He look na your ear. He look na your head. He look na your hand. He look na your finger. Then he look na just your lips. He like you. And then that person now, he go say, he, he go write me for my WhatsApp, say he like this, he go screenshot you, then say he like this woman, no, match me up with this woman, then I go match Runa up. When I match Runa up now, then when I start when I sing, I know they me day. Because if I do, and I say, I do, and privately, I will get a lot of difficulties because it will give, I know I'll get that time for begin to ask the person, to call this person, ask her, call this person, ask her. So I want to make up a way where it may be easy for everybody. If you come on camera, you show yourself, you just talk. You don't need to talk much. You don't need to talk much. Show your face on camera and then say you need help. When you talk your thing, people will be able to help you. And then if you get somebody where you watch, as we are watching like this, to help you. That's what we are getting. I think it's not the best decision. Anna. Or if you can see screenshot, you can see screenshot yourself, send it to me in WhatsApp, because other people, they have already done it. Some people, they, have, they don't already do so. Fast people, they don't already do, and they don't already write me messages, they talk way the way they want, and some people, they don't already tell me things before I even start this thing. So, you do it like that, then now I will be able, for my free time, for read all those messages, then. and then I can be able to match you people up, then when I start with nothing. I think that's another option. So, brothers and sisters, I've been long. I think we don't try our best today. So I will call it for a day today. And I thank everybody that contributed and everybody that said he or she enjoyed the show. If I'm chance tomorrow, I'm going to write it before I come on uh, before I come online. I will come and then we'll see also if we can still have some knowledge, share some good things here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice evening. Be blessed and have an, uh, be blessed and we'll see ourselves tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.